What's up YouTube, how you doing? This is Mr. Tyrebox123 and in this video I'm bringing you some performance tests on the brand new 2013 MacBook Air. Welcome back everybody and this is the new 2013 at MacBook Air from Apple and this one obviously has the new faster solid state storage along with that new Haswell processor architecture. So I thought I'd bring you guys some performance tests and just see exactly how much faster this new 2013 MacBook Air is. So first of all, I'm just gonna run up the Blackmagic speed test and we're just gonna see the actual speeds of the SSD or solid state storage inside the 2013 MacBook Air and straight away on the right we're up to 452 megabytes per second so very very fast and then on the read we're up to 726 megabytes per second so extremely fast on the solid state performance there. Now let's just stop that and have a look at the processor performance. Just going to run up Geekbench 2 and I'm going to run a 64-bit test as well. Just got to go back into that. Here we go. So I'm going to run this in 64-bit mode and just see what the overall performance is. I'll come back with you in just a second when this is finished running. And there we go. You can see it has finished with an outstanding score of 6,736. Now, just while I'm waiting to upload these to Geekbench, I'll just let you know this is the 13 inch model so it's got a dual core 1.3 gigahertz processor boosting up to 2.6 and this is a dual core i5 processor. Now I'm just going to click on the Mac benchmark chart and just see where this comes up so it was 6700 so if we just head down to that kind of area an iMac 2010 core i5 3600 megahertz came in at 6,781. If we go down just a little bit further, we can also see in here a 13 inch MacBook Pro from 2012 with slightly less at 6,649. And just below that, we have got a brand new MacBook Pro 13 inch Retina with an i5 3210 2.5 gigahertz dual core processor and that has less at 600, uh, 6,616. So this little MacBook Air really is a powerhouse and also extremely fast on the solid state storage. And that Haswell architecture really does have a lot to do with the performance speeds. Anyway guys, what do you think? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Please do hit that like button for me and I will see you all in the next video. See ya.